Here at First Bank of Alabama, prior to digital onboarding, we were literally doing nothing as far as following up with our customers. We could um, communicate with them via email through our internet banking platform, but we only use that for major communications. So as far as like a welcome packet or anything like that, once they open their account with us, we weren't really following up like we should be. The CSRs were supposed to call and reach out to them, but in the day-to-day -day life of being busy and doing your day-to-day -day duties, that kind of fell by the wayside. My advice to other community banks looking to digitize your onboarding process would be to absolutely find, if you're not gonna go with digital onboarding, find a platform that you can use that's very similar to this, because we, we wish that we had done it way sooner. So since we've launched digital onboarding, we've seen some great results. Um, the first and obvious one is that um, you save money from postage and mailing. Um, secondly, the customer is getting these sort of communications in a much uh, more real-time fashion as soon as the account is open or as soon as the loan is closed. And third, it really provides a professional look uh, from the purpose of the bank sending these personalized workflows to customers. After the implementation of digital onboarding, we have seen an increase in the adoption of our products and services such as online banking, e-statements, and direct deposits. Additionally, we have been able to connect with our customers much more efficiently. What I would recommend to other banks and credit unions is to find the root of friction between the institution and the customer. Oftentimes, it's just too tedious for the customer to sign up for simple services such as e-statements and direct deposits. And oftentimes the simple solution is technology.